Hey everybody, welcome back to another video from Breezy Organization. I am on here today to show you a brand new release. And if you're new here, we talk about all things productivity, organization, um, and planners using our iPads and our pencils. So we're gonna get right into today's video. I am super excited to introduce you to our brand new release. And that is mini widgets. I am super excited to show you guys these. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my iPad sideways so you guys can get a good look at them and go to a week that I haven't planned yet because this is our next week we're going into. Okay, and then with this release, I had several, several people asking me for these Focus 3 stickers. So since I was doing mini widgets anyways, it kind of worked. Um, I do have them in two different ways. So the Focus 3 stickers, um, the mini widget will fit right here. And basically a mini widget will hold three. It's like a widget broken up into three parts. So you can put three mini widgets on top of each other in this spot that we have allowed for a full widget. <clears throat> but you can also use them on your weekly spreads, your daily spreads. They can go in lots of different places and they're still kind of like a widget as in they are not like a sticker uh, decor, but they are actually accomplishing something. They're a ta task list, they're a form, they're information, stuff like that. Um, so, and it also comes with what I put in there uh, for the weekly spread. So it's not quite as wide, so it fits perfectly in this little spot here for you to plan a focus three for your week, just like I do every week. So I usually do mine Monday through Friday. I usually don't have one on Saturday and Sunday, but you can just write in and check off what your focus three is for that day. So super excited about that. I know I've had tons and tons of people ask me to make that into a sticker. So um, that will be included in this mini widget pack. First off, I'm gonna go through the widgets that come in this pack, and then I'm gonna show you a few different ways that you can use them. I am super excited about them. I think it brings um, a different uh, part to your weekly planning up here, and I think it's super, super fun and cute. So let's get started. We have currently listening, currently reading, currently watching. Daily expenses has a list of one through seven. Uh, don't forget, favorite memory, the two focus threes, food tracker for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack, habit tracker, mini savings, today celebrate, today's food, today's weight, top priority, water tracker, weather, weather with the check boxes, and then a wish list. So I am so, so excited about these. I think they're so stinking cute. Um, especially the mini savings jar. I think this is my favorite. So if you've been following us for a while, you know that we have a big widget that's a big savings jar. Um, but this little mini savings jar is just so cute. And I think it's really fun if you have something smaller that you're saving for. So like the big savings jar, I do for anything really, really expensive, vacation, you know, any of that kind of stuff. But this mini one is just perfect if you have some smaller um, things that you're wanting to save for. So I'm wanting a new camera lens and we're going to put $800 and then you would just fill this in to the amount that you need to um, save and then you can hit the, hit the highlighter tool and then you can use some of the colors that you know are in the planner some of the hex codes that come with that and then say I've already got $400 saved you can simply trace this out and fill it in now if you don't lift up your pencil um, it won't make any spots darker um, and I got all the lines a little bit. Whoops. My daughter would be so disappointed in me. <laughs> anyway, so you fill this in. And if you don't lift up your pencil, it'll all be the same color. So you can kind of see how much you saved so far. And I just think it is super, super cute. You could have, um, say you're saving for several different things. You could do three mini savings jars on top of each other. Um, you could even put this on a weekly spread. I think it's super, super cute. So that's a look at our mini savings. Um, now let's say we want to do the weather. So we have the weather in two different ways, a checkbox or um, without the checkbox. So if you use without the checkbox, you could either circle the weather or what I like to do and I think is super fun is just to color it in. Like if you like to color it all, I think this is a super fun way. If you don't, you can always circle it or just use a check checkbox one. It's not not a big deal but this actually works really really good if you have daily pages so like our original life planner or our minimalist life planner 
um, comes with daily pages and this would be super cute to use on those. It would also be super cute to use in your memory keeping book or it would be really cute to use um, or really um, helpful to use on your daily pages. So like if you have our original life planner or a minimalist planner, they come with daily pages and it would be great to use on there or a travel planner. I may have said the same thing twice, guys, I'm losing it. <laughs> um, but a travel planner would be also a really great way to plan out your days to figure out what the weather's supposed to be like. So you could just color it in and that shows you what the weather was like for that day. Super, super cute. Or just use the checkbox one. Um, another one of my favorites is probably this wish list one because I've always got tons of things that I want. Who doesn't, right? <laughs> um, so this wish list one, you can basically save, hold down on a picture and save from, um, the internet anywhere where you found something that you like. Uh, I like to scrapbook. So I saved this really cute, um, chipboard set. And so you just make this, uh, most of them will already probably be in a square or have a white background to where you don't actually have to crop it. Um, but this one had a weird background on it. I'm not really for sure why. So you could just put that on. I got a little black line. There we go. Put that on there. And then I love these little rainbow wood veneers. So we're going to put that on there. And then I had an, whoops, I had an album that I wanted. So we're going to hit this. And we're going to put my album that I wanted right here. And then all you could write in or you could use your text tool. I'm going to bring this down to, I don't know, probably about 14 or 15. And then just write in, whoops, I went far enough over. Write in what I wanted. I'm going to hit the lasso tool and I'm going to turn off images, toggle that off for a minute. That way I can move um, my writing wherever I want it, okay? And now, so I don't have to resize it every time, I am going to copy the writing and I'm gonna paste it over here. And since we have the images selected off, it didn't copy and paste everything. And then we're gonna highlight, highlight, what's wrong with you? There you go. Um, this is like a little wood veneer. Make this wider to fit on there. And then we're gonna move this over and we're gonna paste again right here. We're gonna type in chipboard. Okay, and then underneath it, I just have the store. So I'm gonna turn this a little bit so I can write. So these were from Freckle Fawn. I think they were like $2. This is $4. My uh, pen is a little bit too thick. I need a scrapbook.com and $16.99. So super, super cute to add little wish lists in. And then if some of it's a little uneven, which I gotta change that to toggle my images back on. I'm going to move this down just a little bit. So basically that's how three widgets will fit on top of each other. Now I'm going to show you, um, we can, you can definitely do currently listening, currently reading, currently watching like on one. Um, this is a habit tracker one, which I think is absolutely great because some people don't want a full widget for a habit tracker. So like you could do your habit tracker down here at the bottom and you can write in like Bible, water, um, whatever you want to do. You click the highlighter and um, you could just simply highlight them in like this. You could check mark them out or you could check mark them out like that, whichever way you want to do. So that gives you four spots and it has um, seven going across here for seven days of that week. And then um, you're different. So you can have it track four things. And then if you need more, you could add more on top or what you could do is just go back to your, um, if you have our memory pack too, we have these cute little uh, Polaroids. So it'd be super cute just to decorate on top of here, put like a couple Polaroids on top, put in pictures, stickers, whatever you want, have your habit tracker down here at the bottom. I'm so sorry if you guys couldn't see all of that. 
Uh, I just noticed I have to add a screen a little bit. So you could have your habit tracker here and then just decorate on top. Um, super, super fun. Or you can have three. You could still just do your regular widgets in here um, like normal. So say we wanted to add in a widget quote. Let's do make today awesome. And then let's go back. I would probably put in one of my cleaning ones or like the menu for this week. I always pre-plan my menu. So that's probably the one that I would be using. I usually use this one every week. And that is in our cleaning menu pack. If we want to throw in um, a couple of pictures, let's see. Oh, there it is. That was the one that I wanted. Add in a picture of my baby girl. And I did a horrible job cropping that. Did you guys see that? That was awful. Okay. So let's crop it this way. Let's put it up here. About right there. Um, I think I can just lasso this and cut it and then paste. Put this on top of here where it was. And then add in another picture. Let's see here. Um, my son likes getting in my daughter's American, uh, not American Girl. Um, what is this? This is the Target version of uh, the American Girl. My son likes getting in this boat. He absolutely loves fishing. He loves boats. So he likes getting in this boat. Um, and pretend like he's fishing out of it. And it absolutely cracks me up every single time he gets in it. He's done this for a couple of years now. He's gotten into this boat. And he's about too big to where he can't sit in the boat anymore. But I'm pretty sure he plays with it more than what my daughter does. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So we're going to put him in there. So super cute. I could even label these if I want to put something cute there right beside it. And then you got your habit tracker. So these spaces are still doing work for you, but yet you can also decorate them. So that's a look at those mini widgets down there. Now I'm also going to show you they're super, super fun to use in your weekly spread too. So let me go back um, here to mini widgets. Okay. So say currently watching. So say you want to document what you're currently watching in this week sometime. So let's put that in there. And I am a Fixer Upper fan. So they've got their new, new show. So I'm going to put that on here and say that is what I'm currently watching. So you just cover up um, that little square spot there. So super cute. You could highlight it to bring a little bit more attention to it or highlight it in a different color. But I think that's super cute along with your planning and your stickers to have information about what you're reading, what you're watching, what you're listening to. Um, you can also put, if you're wanting to not forget something so you have an important, important meeting, these fit on the widgets, but you could also just put them on a day. I have got to call somebody. So I've got to call Kelly about something on this day, I can put, you know, don't forget and kind of draw attention to that. And then I have my little box there. I could even put, you know, details and time, say it's an appointment that you have to be at. Um, you can do that. Um, this one's super cute. You could put this, um, this fits uh, into the little mini widgets as well. And I got things going all over the place. Um, so you can put these in a little, mem you know, in a spot down here, or you can also use a you know, favorite memory for this day. You can make it fit into this box, um, or you could do it sideways and you could just write, I mean, super, super cute. Uh, food tracker, that's a great one to be adding in each day too. Say you wanted this box instead of being at focus three, you wanted to keep track of your food for this week. So you can make them all that size and then you could just add in. Okay. I had eggs and bacon and then I had uh, chicken for dinner and so on and then you could keep track of your um, food and stuff there too another really super cute one that we have that's like the wish list except it's for food and that is if I could find it today's food okay so this is a super fun one to use um, in your weeks too but again they'll fit in the widget spot so say today's food um, Let's see, I had ribs for 
dinner last night, so I'm gonna add those in. And depending on if you have a diet or you have something else that you're doing, um, I'll show you what else you can add in. Say I had pizza for lunch. And then like these two pictures, I just got off the internet. You know, it's, it's what I ate that day, but I just got it off of the internet. Um, so it doesn't have to actually be, you know, a picture of your food or say, oh my goodness, I forgot to take a picture or, you know, whatever. This, these two were not pictures of my food. And then say, I did take a picture of my food. So this is what I fixed for breakfast. So we had waffles and strawberries and just snapped a picture of it and then put it in here. And then you could write underneath it, waffles, and then we had pizza and we had ribs. And what's um, neat about this is you could actually write in, you know, it was 550 calories, this was 750 calories, this was um, 250 calories. And I'm probably off on that. But anyways, you get the point. And so it's super cute because it could be like a little food diary if you're really focusing on your food as well. You could put those on your daily widgets and your um, actual calendar. There's lots and lots of ways. Say you just wanted for the whole month instead of decorating or putting appointments on your monthly spread, you could actually just put these on your squares on the month and you could actually see what you ate for a whole month and have your uh, pictures, calories, um, you know, names. You could put whatever you want on this line. I left it blank because I didn't know for sure how everybody's diet would be working. You may um, add these things differently. So super, super fun. I'm absolutely loving this mini, or mini widget pack. I think it is super, super fun. It's very um, versatile. There, um, It's fun stuff like listening and memory keeping and reading and watching, but then there's expenses and don't forget, and there's focus threes, and there's habit trackers and savings trackers and weather. Um, the water is really, really cute. You can put this down um, in the widget or for the days and you can put this down like this and it's another one that you can either check off or you can color in which I have my thing a little too big so as you drink your water throughout the day you can just color in how many waters you got so Super, super fun. I am absolutely loving. I think they're um, interactive and that's what I love. I love memory planning and documenting to be fun and not just productive. And that is what I feel like these memory or these, I have to keep saying memory. I'm stuck on memories right now. Uh, these mini widgets are. So I hope you absolutely love these. Um, I hope it is something that you can uh, make useful and have fun with. Uh, that is a look at our release today. Everything will be linked down below. This planner is the Farmhouse Weekly Planner. We have it dated for 2021 and undated. We also have ones that work with our widgets. That's the Original Life Planner and the Minimalist. Any three of those will work. We'll have widget spots. We have new ones coming out. Um, hopefully my plan is to have new ones coming out for July through June of next year. So we'll have a couple new ones hopefully for that if I can get on the ball and finish getting those done. Thank you all for all of your guys' requests. Um, everything that you guys email me about. Um, sometimes I get so many emails a day. If I don't get back to you really, really quick, I'm sorry, but I do read every email. I write down all of your guys' um, input and suggestions and they are on a list. They may not come out for a few weeks, but they are on a list of things to make so I can make this planner work for you guys. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you for watching these videos and I will catch you on next week's. It's probably going to be a sticker release. You probably don't want to miss it. Um, I'm super excited about it and I hope you love today's release, this mini widgets, and I will catch you on the next one. See y'all later.